Ooh, almost died. Glad I drank that brilliant. Could have signed otherwise, but first goal of the day. Technically, we could get a back to back here as well. It did not happen. And there we go. Goodbye, Talos. And hello, Dorman's Arrow Squad Sword. No. Okay, boss dies. Very messy. Okay, get orb. Thank you. Ah, oh, almost. <laughs> there we go, we got it down. Nearly messed it all up with the wrong weapon switch, but there we go, line the times as well. Oh, not quite a record, but yeah, 224, that's a, that's a pretty nice sign. Definitely a lot of room for improvement, but that is not bad for me generally. Okay, that's quite a nice drop. That's the best drop I've had in forever, nice. Thank you, Ambassador. Okay, so we're going to try this um, prayer method for an hour with auto sanctifiers and hopefully all the boosts I can muster. So we're starting on 130, 135, 44. So you can actually, um, like instead of using Vizwax to increase the divine location limit, you can actually use Desert Pantheon and this is free. So I definitely recommend doing this instead of Vizwax. Basically, it's just um, load the preset and then spam all the buttons, like bones and ashes at the same time, then withdraw it. From your BAB and then repeat. Um, this will be the time to use them as well. Uh, you wear like two nimble pieces plus silver hawks. Uh, unfortunately, I've already got two nimble from silver hawks, so yeah. Hold down the keys instead of spam pressing them. That makes things quite a bit easier. Uh, what, 15 minutes in at the moment, and we've gained, I want to say like 1.7 mil XP, nearly 1.8. Ish, so uh, it's looking pretty tasty. So yeah, well, what like um, forty-two minutes in, and we've gained a bit over five mil XP. So yeah, it's, it's going really, really well. Done in uh, about what fifty-six minutes. We've got four left on Aura. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm liking this method. That's for sure. Three, two, one. Perfect timing. Philly is dead. And we gained, what, like 7.5 mil XP in the hour? Oof. Oh, nice. So I need, like, half of them, not even. So I can do this for, like, another hour and a bit at some point in the future. That's good. So we're going to try doing Talos. Let's try, like, 2k in Rage on world 84. So every input is delayed to hell. So good luck. Oh, what? Okay, well... Yeah, we got screwed over a lot by the lag so far. So we're already signed. Good start. Should phase him. All right. So we're going to get to phase five unless something goes horrendously wrong. Question is, can we do phase five? But so far, so good at least. Okay, so 2k in rage, world 84. It took like a minute longer than normal, but it's, it's still very possible. Let's try going higher. There we go, 2.5 get done as well. That's a much nicer kill. Like now, now that I'm kind of used to the lag, I kind of know what to do. Grab some crystal keys for it as well. The real test is can we do that on the west coast with a thousand people? Let's try it. Obviously, it's not actually that much because, well, I mean, it's, it's even more because there's so many people in the world. It's more like 400. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Oh no! Oh! Crystal Shield saved us! But the, the lag stopped us surging. Oh! No! Man! Oh, I think I lagged a bit and my stun didn't quite do what I wanted to do. Shame. Kate, No! Oh, I lost the tick on the world of magic because of the lag. And I probably didn't have charge during a death. Great. And that should be it, right? It's gotta be. There we go, 2.5k done on the laggiest world possible. What do we get for it? Some Blade of Salvage. Not bad, not bad. There we go, another little sun back on normal worlds now, but I guess we're drawing stones for it. I feel like I might have learned how to do bag beams. Cool. Got ourselves some Dragoon Arrow Heads. 